Hello everyone, it's Jin Teacher coming to you from Reading Town. It's good to see you. Today's article is about counting calories. So calories is something that is important to us when we eat our food. So let's find out what is calories and why do people count them? What is that about? So calorie, a calorie is a unit of measuring energy. So just like we have meters and centimeters, yards, inches, right? That is how we measure length or distance. But a calorie is how we measure energy, okay? So the foods we eat contain calories. So whether you eat an apple or you eat a banana or a pizza or a hamburger, all of that food inside has energy, right? And that has calories. An egg contains about 80 calories. So does a medium-sized apple. So the energy inside of a medium-sized apple is about the same, si same amount of energy that's in an egg. Right? And medium means not too big, not too small, just a normal size. Um, when you eat an apple, your body gets 80 calories of energy. So as we eat the food, the body is able to take the energy or the calorie out of the food that we eat so that our bodies can work. Our body needs calories for energy just like a car needs fuel to run properly. So we don't put food in a car, we put gasoline right, or fuel inside of a car. Our bodies, we need food so that we can have energy to move and to do work. Okay? So uh, in order for it to run properly, right, that means for it to run in the way that it should. When we exercise, our body burns the energy we get from the foods we eat. So when we play sports or when we run, it, it's our body using the energy that we've gotten from our food. That's why we need to eat again and again so that our body has more and more energy. So some foods have more calories than others. Uh, so we need to understand that it's important we see how many uh, calories that we take in through our meals. Sometimes if you eat too many calories, then it becomes unhealthy and that's when people get overweight. Uh, but if you don't have enough calories, that's when your body becomes tired and weaker and you don't have a lot of energy. So a lot of people who are on diets especially, they count calories. How much energy am I taking in through the foods that I eat? And it's very important if you want to be healthy. So if you look at certain foods, it tells you the amount of calories that are on it. Uh, and we know that for an apple, it has about 80 calories. Okay? Let's take a look at our comprehension questions for today. So in order for us to stay healthy, we need to understand the importance of calories. So it says here, a calorie is a unit of measuring what? So calorie helps us understand how much or how little we have of something. And we said that uh, centimeters, right, meters, that's a unit of measuring distance or how long or big something is. But a calorie is used to measure what? Do you remember? That's right. It's measuring energy. So how much energy is in a food? We use uh, the unit calorie. Here it says the blank we eat contain calories. So what is it that we eat that has calories in it? Uh, we said that just like a, a car uses fuel or gasoline, our bodies need what? So it says here, the food we eat contain calories, right? So the different foods have different amounts of energy or calories in them. And the last question here, it says, our body needs calories just like a car needs what? So we talked about this, it's not water. Cars don't need food, but cars need fuel, right? Or gasoline. So this is what we put inside cars so that the cars can run properly or run in the way that it should. And you and I, we need food so that our bodies can work in the right way as well. Uh, let's circle the right word and finish our last exercise together. It says, when we exercise our body, something calories. So our body swims calories, sweats calories, or burns calories. So this is a word that tells us that we're using it, right? Just like how if you have a lamp and you have oil in it, so as you use the lamp and the light starts lighting up, then it starts to, that's our word, it starts to burn, so we're using it up. So when our body exercises, when we're exercising, our body uses or burns the calories. Let's look at the question B. An egg contains 80 calories, so does a medium-sized what? So is it a chocolate bar? Is it a pen? I don't think you should eat a pen. I don't think there's any calories in a pen. Or an apple, and we saw that in our picture, so if you remember, so it's a medium-sized apple. 
So it has about the same calories as an egg. Our body needs calories for, for fat, for energy, or for electricity. Well, I think the closest answer is what we've been talking about, about if you and I want to do what we need to do for our bodies, we need to be able to have this important thing and it's energy, right? So you and I, in order for us to study, in order for us to play sports, have fun, right? And move around, we need energy and energy comes from calorie. So that's why it's very important what kind of food you and I eat because some foods have more energy or calories than other foods like junk food, right? So I hope from today's article, you remember the word calorie and that when you eat, maybe you want to find out how much calorie, how many calories are in the food that I eat. I hope you make a healthy choice and your body becomes healthier as you educate your mind. I hope you uh, learned a lot from today's article and I will see you again next time. Goodbye everyone.